The two main categories of pumps used in water supply are velocity pumps and positive displacement pumps. Velocity pumps, including centrifugal and vertical turbine, are used for most distribution system applications. Positive displacement pumps include reciprocating and rotary, are used for moving abrasive or harmful materials, and metering chemical feed systems. Positive displacement pumps displace or move a uniform amount of fluid each cycle or revolution. Generally, they have two cavities. One, an opening or expanding area that creates suction and draws liquid in, and a closing or decreasing area that pushes the liquid along. PD pumps produce the same flow at a given speed no matter the discharge pressure and are often used as metering pumps. Reciprocating pumps have a piston that moves back and forth in the cylinder. Liquid is admitted and discharged through a check valve. These pumps are used with very high pressure applications and where abrasive or potentially hazardous liquids must be pumped. Pumps that feed chemicals for water treatment are a prime example. Rotary pumps are rotating pump elements to move a known volume of liquid through the pump. PD rotary pumps will put out a constant volume of liquid regardless of the pressure and do not impart velocity to the pumped liquid. Metering is accomplished with rotary pumps by a calibrated pump element that creates a cycle count of revolutions and moves a dial or is recorded electronically. Velocity pumps and specifically centrifugal pumps are the most widely used pumps in the world and used extensively by municipalities, utilities, and other water providers. Because of their popularity and use from source water to final service lines, centrifugal pumps are the primary focus of this program. Centrifugal pumps are a subclass of dynamic axis symmetric pumps used to transport fluids by the conversion of rotational kinetic energy to the hydrodynamic energy producing flow. The central part of the pump interior is a nautilus design impeller. Water enters the powered impeller along the rotating axis and is accelerated flowing radially outward into a volute chamber, then into the open or closed system. Though there are numerous types and manufacturers of centrifugal pumps on the market, most are similar in construction and operation. Velocity pumps use a spinning impeller or propeller to accelerate water to high velocity within the pump casing. This is achieved in one of two different ways, in a volute or expanding spiral casing shape or through diffuser vanes or channels such as those built into the bowls of vertical turbine pumps. The volute style is also known as radial flow. Water is thrown outward from the center of the impeller into the volute or diffusers that convert the velocity to pressure. Radial flow volute pumps come in single stage and multi-stage configurations. A widely used pump for many utilities is the popular double suction, double volute, horizontal split case pump. The term horizontal does not indicate the position of the pump, but rather the orientation of the shaft center line. The volute or casing is split into two halves, the top and bottom along the center line of the pump shaft. Flow at the suction nozzle is diverted equally into each side of the impeller. The central part of the pump is a Nautilus-designed impeller. Water enters the powered impeller along the rotating axis and is accelerated, flowing radially outward into a volute chamber, then into the open or closed system. Limited maintenance requirements are often cited as advantages for using centrifugal pumps. Other advantages include a wide range of flow capacities and operating heads, uniform flow at constant speed and head, common basic construction, competitive initial cost, the ability to adapt to a variety of drive types, including motor, engine, or turbine, moderate to high efficiency at optimal operation, relatively low noise level, and the ability to operate against a closed discharge valve for short periods without damage.